Congratulations, class of 2020. While this year has certainly taken an unexpected turn, I want to say congratulations. You guys are finished with your K-12 education, which is something to be celebrated and honored. I want to encourage you guys to think about not just this year and the craziness that is the end of your senior year of high school, but I want you to think about the memories that you've made all throughout your time at Cottage Hill Christian Academy and a couple of your teachers and your coaches and those who care about you and love you have a few messages to share for your senior video for the class of 2020. Again, congratulations and we wish you all the best. What's up, seniors? Andrew Jackson made a statement. I was born for a storm, and a calm doesn't suit me. This quote is so true for the class of 2020. You guys have been a great example of the definition resilient. One, you have not taken this personal, and two, you know that this pandemic isn't permanent. You know that this is a comma in your life and not a period. Proverbs 16.3 says, Commit your works to the Lord, and your thoughts shall be established. I want you to take pride in how far you have come, but have faith in how far you can go. Ecclesiastes 9.10 states, Whatever your hands find to do, do it with all your might. Take pride in being a Cottage Hill Christian Academy warrior. In conclusion, I ask that you not go and look for blessings in life, but instead go and be a blessing. I want you to go out and write your story and remember that Jesus is the author and finisher of our faith. Once a warrior, always a warrior. May God bless. Class of 2020, congratulations. You did it, and I'm so proud of you. Just wanted to say thank you for letting me spend some time with you. In the last couple of years, I've gotten to know some of you really well, maybe too well, I don't know. Um, but just know as you go forward, I'm excited to see what your future holds. And just like I always tell you, you always have one person who is on your side, in your corner, cheering you on. That's me. I love you guys.
seniors. First, I wanted to say congratulations for graduating. I'm sorry it's in these circumstances, uh, but I also wanted to tell you how much you mean to me. You know, a lot of people talk about how teachers impact students, and I can only hope and pray that I've impacted some of you in some way, but no one talks about how students impact their teachers, and I can definitely say that you guys have impacted my life for the better. Some of you I've taught since seventh grade and some of you I've taught just for a little while, but all of you have been genuine and you've made me laugh on days that I didn't think I could laugh. And we always in my classes had a good time and good memories. And I'll always have those memories of you guys. I love you, congratulations, class of 2020. <laughs> of 2020 I'm so proud of each and every one of you and I know that you're going to do great things in the future one of my favorite memories as a teacher at CHCA was when I told you guys I was pregnant through a math challenge and Ryan yelled out Miss Martin is president it was really funny anyways I hope you guys know that I love you and you always remember our school's verse Jeremiah 29 11 and know that the Lord is with you and he holds your future
Hey class of 2020, I just wanted to uh, tell you that well, even though this has been a crazy year and it's been a year of lost moments, that uh, I'm going to cherish so many of the ones that we did have. Uh, this year, uh, some of you visited me last year, 10th grade year, all of those and, you know, all of the craziness that happened here, I got to feel like I was closer to some of you just through our emails and staying in touch while we've been apart. I want you guys to all know how... <clears throat> wonderful this class is for it to be the smallest class we've had in a long time you guys are, are one of the most powerful classes and one of the ones filled with the most potential and uh, i want you guys to know how important you all are to me and how much i love you um the last few years i've had a, a tradition of writing letters to each of my seniors and giving the to them at their um at their senior breakfast uh i want you guys to know that if that's not a thing that happens this year i'm going to make sure that you uh, will still get those. I will mail them out to you um, and uh, you'll get them during the summertime for sure. I wanna encourage each of you to not let this be the thing that defines you as a generation, not in a negative way. Let this be a positive. Let this be a thing that teaches you the value of every moment, uh, no matter how trivial they may seem. Let this be the thing that lets you know that we should value every moment we have because we never know how many we have. And I don't, that doesn't just mean a death. It could be just, you know, something like this happening and your senior year, you know, uh, being robbed of weeks and weeks of time. So uh, you guys hang in there. Y'all are a special group. And if any group is was able to handle this, it's yours. Uh, I, I fully believe that you're one of the strongest groups we've ever had. And I just don't mean, I don't mean Greg wise. That's not, that's not what I'm talking about. Although that's pretty good too, but I'm talking about in the bigger picture. So you guys hang in there. Let you know, I want you to all know that I love you. Um, I love you all the time. And, uh, that we're going to be watching you closely as you move on and do great things in this world. So, you know, God's looking out for you. You're a special group, and I know he's got big plans for each and every one of you. So you guys hang in there. Uh, again, I love each of you, and um, you know, we'll see you again soon. I just wanted to tell you how much I love you and how I am praying for you as you step out into this unbelievable time of your life where you have a lot of freedom. But the freedom that is the most important is the freedom of Christ. You should get up every morning, dress up, have your quiet time with the Lord, be prepared for the day, and know that Jesus is with you every step of the way. I want to encourage you to love other people. I want you to love your family. Pray for your family. Pray for your roommate at school. Pray for what God has for you. And remember that in the times when you might be the loneliest, Jesus is always there. Jeremiah 33, 3 says, Call upon me and I will answer you and I will show you great and mighty things that you don't know. I love you, babies. To God be the glory. Be gracious to you. The Lord turn his face toward you. Congratulations to the senior class. Proud of you, excited for you, and know that it's been an honor to teach you. The Lord bless you and keep you and make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you.
guys can see your faculty, the coaches, um, all the administration here at Cottage Hill is very excited and very um, proud of all that you have accomplished. I want to share a few statistics with you guys and with your parents to let them know exactly how hard you've been working over the last year. The class of 2020 has accumulated $5.6 million worth of scholarship opportunities and that's merit-based and athletic scholarships. Additionally, the top 25% of our class average ACT is a 29. The top 50% of this class ACT is a 26 and the average ACT for the entire class is a 23. 100% of you have applied to colleges. We are very excited about your future and we know that great things are ahead for you. Congratulations again to the class of 2020. We'll miss you. Class of 2020, first and foremost, I just wanna tell you, you are loved. I have truly enjoyed getting to know some of you for just this one year and others knowing since you were in sixth grade. It has been an honor of mine to partner with you this year. As my first year of head of school, I could not have asked for a better group of students. I wish that this was ending differently. I wish that your um, group and your generation were not walking through what we're walking through. But I can tell you, and it may seem, may seem like it's a lie, but I can promise you, God is in control. He knows your heart. He knows what you're walking through. He knows your next steps because he's already planned them. And in his word, Jeremiah 29, 11, you all know this verse. It's going to be on every graduation card you get. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and give you a hope and a future. But the ne very next verse says, for if you call out to me, I will answer you. We always leave that one off because that's our responsibility. That's our work. That's our next step. And so I would ask you to call out to God. Ask him to show you the plans he has for you, as I'm doing for you. I am so honored to graduate you as a student here at College Hill Christian Academy. I'm so proud of you and proud of what you're going to do. You need to always remember, you're always a warrior. Uh, one last verse, and you're going to hear me say this a lot, and you're going to see this a lot. I just want to, this is in Numbers chapter 6. May the Lord bless and keep you. May the Lord make his face shine upon you and give you peace that all may know. Jesus Christ is Lord. God bless. Don't stay a stranger. We're here for you. We love you and we're cheering you on. Go away.